I already layered the base on this huge canvas. It's a leftover color and I really wanted to use it. And today I'm going to do a botanical Dutch pour. If you missed the first one, you missed out. <laughs> you can check it after this video and it's amazing and such a fun way. So I think this is a beautiful base color. It's more of a sky blue uh, and it was a mix of white with greens and blues and yeah. Now we have this beautiful color. So I will be using greens and blue for this botanical Dutch pour today. So let's get started. So I want this design to be slight off center. And I think I do have it on my spinning table, but I'm not gonna spin this painting. Uh, I have here a beautiful deep turquoise. And I will start with that. And the idea is that the center would come here. Just like that. Let's see. Let's see. Just a bit like that. Yeah. Okay. So then I will use my stalo green. So green on top of green. Now, you know, I'm going to keep this quite dark, so like this and then with gold, because we love gold, or am I the only one? <laughs> I always use gold, I think my paintings without gold, we can count on one hand. All right, looking great so far, so I will rotate the canvas be great if this blowout was the same as in the first that I did. That turned out surprisingly well. Okay, let's get started. Well, the blowout went slightly different this time. Uh, this could have been much better, <clears throat> but I do think it's a great start to tweak this. And I'm loving that it's really off center here. Oh, let's work with it. I'm a bit worried about this there, but uh, let's start here first. This is the fun really fun part. That's a great start. It's nice. It has these little weird edges because it feels more natural for the botanical, for the botanic, for my botanic.
loving what's happening here. You need to think here a bit. It's quite challenging, guys. This, uh... So everything is almost finished except for this blob. All right, well, that was a lot of tweaking and finger painting. Uh, I think I'm super pleased with it right now. I just blew a little bit of the edges out, but my camera stopped working there. I'm loving it, how it is. So I'm gonna let this dry and bring you up for the end result. Here is the dried result. And I felt something was missing. So I ended up tracing a couple of these leaves with gold lines and in the center here as well. And I think it's popping beautiful right now. Really loving this style. It's so much fun and challenging as well. So a couple more of these works are coming up. I can't wait to show you really. Hope you love this video. Let me know in the comments what you think and also about adding these gold touches in the center there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.